morning tech laners and welcome back to the channel you find me today at Port St Louis it is just after 5 a.m. and I'm waiting now for the boat to arrive to take us out fishing for a 10 hour trip 10 hour day target species will be rockfish and lingcod been on I've well, been with this company before and been very successful so anyway guys the next time you see me I'll be on the boat I'll give you a rundown of what's happening and a little bit more. So, and then you Well, I'll see you later on. All right, tight liners. So, uh, the situation is now is that we think we may have got to a spot where there might be some squid hanging out. Um, so the the deck hands are going to have a go for some squid to use for bait. But also, what we're going to do is I'm going to start throwing to start with. The uh, limitless in green and white, because uh, the other fish that might be here is some white sea bass. So if we get one of them, it'd be fantastic. So we're going to spend some time here, I think, looking for the bass. Um, also look for some squid. Maybe put some live squid down if we can, and uh, go from there. A lot of the footage today will probably be on the GoPro. I have forgotten the. Um, tripod so until something happens like it all guys first drop first fish on the limitless lure not exactly the target species a little sand dab that'll go back should we watch it go back okay tight liners so I'm uh, joined here with Joel who is the uh, owner and the maker of stupid baits that we're all going to give a good go today looking for these uh, rockfish um, so uh, yeah here let's, we go let's get some fish and get them quick yeah you'll see it it'll happen it'll happen right. fast good stuff awesome awesome right so sort of earth like doll cheers guys we're about to get started we're fishing in 350 feet of water um whoa, that's deep i'm very pleased that i've got my two speed with me today guys so uh yeah, be using that two speed to full effect today. Right, I think we're almost ready to go. So, uh, I saw sort of both. Like and all. Guys, fish on. There's now 100, 200 feet of fish here, guys. Oh, it's a good old scrapper. Get out of here, Bringing up fish from 350 feet of water, guys. Yeah, he's going for it, yeah? Oh, dude, he's How's that feel? Powerful? Dude, that one's a nice one. Oh, dude, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. He might be, like he said, now he might be swimming up to you. He's still on, yeah, once you get him about 100 feet up, they start floating. He's still on for sure. Nice fish. Look, Look wow. at that, boys. That's why I use 80. <laughs> I have used a 60 and I still snap it. Oh, this is still kicking here as well. There's color there. Oh, look at the size of that. Nice red. That's a red for. Come on, you guys. 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 Come on, you guys.
on the stupid day. On the stupid day. Dear oh my God. Oh. You got two on. Your other one popped. Same thing happened to me. They're angry. They are angry. <laughs> it's you good. Like, you like two or feel like I'm one? not sure, no. There's one at least. Yeah, look oh, at two. Oh, oh, yes, a double head. Nice double reds. Look at those on the stupids. Way here. Nice. Reel all the way down to your uh, swivel if you can. He's floating. Let me get some. You can swing them all the way up over this. Oh, okay. busted! Dusty, Dusty! My lead are not broke. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. yeah. Two, two right there. Oops. <laughs> My buddy lead are not. I look at the little fishy just throw it. Ideal, thank you. Right, oh, that's a, that that's a great pair of fish there. Look at that, boys. You had a start. Well, guys, first drop in that second spot, and well, have a look at this. Look at them, guys. Superb. Size on the eyes on them. That's got to be, I don't know, it's not massively heavy, heavy, but from 350 feet, guys, that was seriously heavy. Two fish together on one, and they were on them stupid baits. Absolutely superb. Nice. Oh, look at we go guys, first drop, double up on the stupid lures, there's one happy man there that oh, makes them, yeah, Let's brilliant stuff, let's go again guys, here we go guys, in again, let's tighten the drag a bit, come up slowly just in case I can pick up another one, oh there he is, oh he's angry, Oh, look at those nods, boys. Look at those nods. Hey, you don't want to let it get too much drag because you want to go back in the rocks. Yeah, I'm pulling them out. No, this is, I think I have 15 pounds of drag. This feels like another good fish, guys. <laughs> this feels like it could be another double or a bloody big one. Nearly there. I think I got a double again away. Oh, man. Double up again. Uh -oh. oh no, it's just one. It's just a one, but it's a good one. That oh, that's your fish, that is. That's your fish. Have I even got a fish? Wait, you thought you had one? And it was mine. 
Oh, yeah, you got one too. I am, yeah. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, that's gone. Oh, he's gone. Ten seconds, I'll get it. Double up again, double up. Double swinging over. We got another one swinging over right here. I got your rod. Oh, one's off. One's gone. One's gone. Get that guy in. He's probably going to go underneath the bow. No worries. We'll yeah. No, actually, I needed three inches. There we go. I'll let that Steve leave that there. Let's get back down. Get it back down. Let's do it fish again. on. Fish on. <laughs> Not been rad at all. Not, Not bad. I had two fish on there, guys. Picking it up into the boat. One dropped off. <laughs> That's how it goes. That's fishing. I have hooked two both my drops and lost one both drops. They're just angry out there fighting against each other. Good times? Yeah, yeah brilliant, guys. Brilliant. Great times. And <laughs> Already. <laughs> This is what you come out here for. Guys, I had another double on there. One just dropped off as he was pulling it up. That's how it goes. Let's get back down there now. It's a blooming long way up, though, guys. A long way up. What's on, sir? About that, us? Like in doll. You've been using that second gear? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it comes in handy out here, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, on the bottom, let's go. Right. You're on bottom? Yeah. We're in again. No, you're okay. Thank you. I, tr I trust you, Joel. I know. I yeah, didn't trust me. I've no. watched you do it a couple of times now. You got it down, man. I have to watch you guys. Yeah, it's all good. All right, Mr. Joel. How you feeling? Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm ready to do This one, this one here is number nine, yeah? yeah. When, you're when you're lifting, it's like a tug of war, right? Yeah. Oh, 
That's the difference, yeah. Bag six? Bag yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Dude, I thought that was a red. That's a nice dog. I was just talking about last trip, but I was like, dude. Doing here. I'm not catching anything at the moment. I should be on my little bit now though. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should reel it up a little bit, like 50 feet, jig, and then drop it. That's fine. I had another double on there. One just dropped off as I was pulling it up. That's how it goes. Let's get back down there now. It's a blimmin' long way up, though, guys. A long way up. What's on, sir? Fish on again, guys. Oh, 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 oh. This is um, <laughs> non stop action, guys. Non stop. Bringing it up really slow. See if we can get a second fish on. Oh, it's angry. The thing is, is once you get them turned upwards, then it's easy to
I don't think I'm going to get another one now. So this could be just a single. Yeah. Well, we gotta move spots. Fish coming in all around the boats, guys. Right. Oh, I got some of these lines there. Color. Can I just get past you there? How the heck has that happened? <laughs> I may have one on as well. It's just down there somewhere. Right guys, so I got three vermilion snappers and now this one here, a green spotted rockfish or a bosco they call it. What a beautiful looking fish guys. It's gonna taste really good later as well. Anyway guys, that's been awesome so far. Good stuff. Everyone around the boat into fish. Off balance. <laughs> <laughs> There's me doing? videoing him and him videoing me. You got your little Bosco, huh? Yeah, little Bosco. Very cool, yeah. Very cool. Anyway, okay. I'll start with that. Okay, guys, so I have now got my limit of a million snapper on the stupid um, lures or baits. So now I'm going to try the limitless down there because I'm pretty sure they'll work as well. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get down there 350 foot. Let's get down again, let's go. Okay, tight liners, so the plan is now is we've come in much shallower, around about 50, 60 feet of water. Um, I'm gonna give the limitless lures uh, another go, still using a pound of lead, and uh, hopefully we'll get some uh, link cod and other species of rockfish. So anyway, I'll saw start up with the dick with Vela Arbor, with Right guys, first fish in this spot, a nice brown rockfish. On the limitless lure, on the green and white one. Oh, you need to see it. It's kind of a special. That's all right. All right. Yeah, it definitely didn't take too long. I'll show you the fish in a bit, guys. Yeah. I get back down, see him get another one.
Right guys, so on that drop, on the Limitless, there we have it, a brown rockfish. Look at the spikes on that boys, and the size in the mouth of it. Look at that. Anyway. Hey there guys, another fish on the Roop Up and Custard, Limitless. Too small, guys, going back. So that's two to the limitless uh, rub up and custard. No, dude, he's the same size as the lure. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's got big dreams. <laughs> anyway, I saw some of that else though. Fish on, guys. Just hit the bottom and straight in. I don't know what it is. Not massive. Oh! Dude, look at that blue! Dude, that's a brown. Dude, I thought that was a brown. You have the right idea, though. There's color. There's a brown. Nice fish, too. That was a really good eat. Brown. Yeah. 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 Another brown there, guys. Oh. Oh. You okay? Yeah. All right. Just yeah. <laughs> You were just talking about how you got a big blue oyster. That one's probably like two pounds, right? Yeah. They're, they're high. yeah, that was another brown, guys. This time on the yellow and, well, white and green. Completely smashed it as soon as it hit the bottom. Let's go again. Yeah, tight line. So the last one hits as soon as I hit the bottom. Like I said, on the green and white, limitless lures, guys. Go and check them out. Worth having a go. So sort of earth. Right, guys, another brown there. Second one in quick succession. For this first one on the Rupert and Custard. This one on the green and yellow. Good stuff. Right, let's get back down. Try again. That was quite a good drop, guys. I had three browns, two keepers, one put back, all on the limitless lures. And just out here now, I don't know whether you'll be able to catch it, but if I turn the camera around in a minute, there is a whale well, out there. Nothing but massive bread. Right, guys, here we go again. So I've changed the rig this time now, so I've got a blue limitless and I've got a stupid. Stupid bait on the top. Let's get down here. This is going to be a short drift apparently, so let's get down. Right, guys, okay, so another another brown on there. Um, again, on the limitless, on the blue limitless this time. So there we go. I think I need one more, don't I? 
Okay guys, so the situation is at the moment is that I have now maxed out on the fish that I'm allowed to take back with me. So I just seen a whole load of bait fish and there's a smelt. So what I'm gonna do is just very very simple. Whack it on there like that, and I'm gonna send that down to the bottom now and see what my fancy is that. So Sirabeth, Villa Arbor, my doy. Here it goes guys, another drop now with that smelt. Uh, hopefully get a nice ling cod or a big cabby on it, cabby zone. Anyway, I saw sort of earth me Right guys, so there's an next bait going on. As it is. Looking for that big ling cod guys. Guys, the guys just filleted there, and look at that two big, big bags of fish. Very, very heavy. Fantastic. We're going to be feeding Edith and Lee, Catherine and Fiona, myself tonight, and there'll be plenty there to put in Edith's freezer for another time. So, anyway, I'll speak to you again when we get back to the port to close this one out properly. Right, guys, as you can see, I'm uh back now at the house what a totally awesome day's fishing that was guys like it always is when you go out with the patriots group um that boat today was called the phoenix great skipper i'm sorry but i can't remember his name but uh met some great people had a lot of laughs um met joel snyder who is the proprietor of stupid baits and i tell you what they work they work really well also though guys okay i did use my limitless ones and i got some nice brown rock fish on them but i got the vermilions on these ones here fantastic what it is is the lead head and the plastic coating over the top of the lead head and everything like that fantastic so he's given me a few to try when i get home a three ounce a one and a half pounds and then there's that one green one like that that's a six ounce one so i'm looking forward to trying them when i get back um hopefully on Kay's boat maybe um looking for pollock and things like that so brilliant so uh if you ever are in the central coast california in the avia beach pismo beach area and you want a boat trip Patriots is the ones for you guys, okay? They're brilliant, um, very reasonable, and they get you on the fish. Everybody on the boat was uh, got the limits today, 10 fish, 10 rock fish to take home. So, uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, get in the kitchen and make some tacos. So, if you like what you see, remember to hit the like and subscribe, and... Uh, I'll see you in the kitchen. So this is the fish that I've um, cut up for tonight's meal. I think there's probably enough there for five of us. And then I've got all this now ready for Edith and Lee to be uh, to freeze it. Just have a look at that, guys. Vermilion snapper, superb thick fillets. I don't know, maybe one fillet will do enough for two oh, yeah. of you Definitely. in one. One is enough. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you've got enough meat, uh, enough fish meat there for, I don't know. Two months. At least. <laughs> yeah, oh, at no. least. Anyway, so what I've done here, guys, is I've um, 
made the mix of spices for tacos. There's cumin, chili powder, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder. Yeah, it's all in there. Kitchen sink. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly dust the fish in it. Like this. Until they're all done, and then I'll bring you back. All in the pool to get. Oh, you want new members? I'll tell them all in the pool that I'm going to be on YouTube. Yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> Episode blah blah blah. Now tell them, please subscribe. That's the one. And subscribe, it, like, and hit the bell. Yeah, and hit the bell. Notifications. And then the, the thumb. Hit, hit like. Like, yeah. yeah. Or don't like. <laughs> Whatever. Right, so what we got, this one is a brown rockfish. Okay. And I caught most oh. of these on the limitless lures. On. Okay. okay guys, so what I got going on here now is some tortillas being fried also in this pan. I'm going to start placing some of the fish in that spice room. In some oil and butter. Careful not to overcrowd the pan. These fish pieces will take about two or three minutes each. These tacos take about 30, 40 seconds on each side. Other tortillas. Turning these over. Right guys, so what we got here, we've got the tacos ready, there's Lee and Edith having tucking in. Lee, what do you reckon? Mm. <laughs> it's delicious. Yeah, texture's good. Oh yeah, that's the yeah. flavor of that is really, really good. Very good? Yep. Edith? I think it's absolutely delicious. Ideal. Mm. Steady. I'm going to take you on steady. <laughs> right then, Catherine, yeah. what tried, do you reckon? I've tried the rockfish yeah. and it's very tasty, very satisfying. No bones to pick out, yeah. flakes of fish, very tasty. Well done. And, yeah. and the coating's good. 
okay guys so as you can see the reviews there from the family is very very good I'm just gonna try this now and yeah what I get there is that the spices just don't overpower the flavor of the fish at all um, the textures are very very good that vermilion snapper just tastes absolutely divine guys so if you ever get a chance to get some get it in so anyway i think that's a satisfying meal so until the next time guys don't forget like and subscribe and until the next time keep your lines tight